I know I didn't get out here to feed you yesterday. I know you guys are hungry. I didn't get out here yesterday to feed them. Although it's kind of chilly out here, they probably think it's turning into fall. It is really chilly. This weather's been crazy because I think it's like 72, 75 degrees today, and then it's going to be like 95 tomorrow. Crazy. All right, so the one thing you cannot say about Zeke Elliott right now is that Zeke is sitting on his ass doing nothing. He's not doing what I'm doing right now. He has been busting his ass. Now, I don't know if this is, you know, it's easy to look good running drills. It really is. You know, nobody looks bad. Well, I look bad running drills. If, if I were to try, you know, I, I get the crutches here and I try and lift it. Yeah, it, it, it would look bad. And, and even without the crutches, it would look pretty bad with, with my old age and bad knees. But you look good, you know, when you get a guy who's hitting you with the pad and you're running between trash cans. Now, the problem is, is when you're running between trash cans full of dirt, you know, and, and they're falling on you. That's a little bit different of a story. But it seems like on a weekly basis, we see another video out of Zeke Elliott working out. I dare say that there's more videos of Zeke Elliott working out this year than anybody else. And my question is, is this Zeke trying to send a message that he's tired of hearing people talking about he's you know, he's done, he, you know, he, he's had it in, there's nothing left in the tank that he's old and the Cowboys need to get rid of him. Is he trying to convince us or is he trying to convince himself? Either way, I'd rather see a video of Zeke Elliott working out every week than seeing a video of him in Las Vegas or seeing him, you know, on a jet ski in Florida or him outside of a nightclub, you know, in, in Cleveland, Ohio. Zeke seems to be a man on a mission. I, I really believe this. And I believe that a lot of players on this team are on a mission because, you know, it's great that you're America's team. You know, that, that you know, you get more love than anybody else and haven't done anything in forever. I, I'm, I, I hate to admit that, but the reality is the Cowboys haven't done anything big in a long time. Yet, everybody knows them, everybody sees them, everybody wants to hang with them. And it's easy to get that love, you know, when you're so-so. But last year, getting that slice of humble pie of having a game that was supposed to be in prime time, and they put you at a one o'clock instead of prime time for the Browns and the Giants, Ouch. That's got to hurt. Jerry Jones said right at the end of that season that when you're the general manager and the owner, you can't fire yourself. We all wish that he would. He could if he wanted to. It would be just hiring somebody else and saying, you're the GM. Although I will say I believe that Will McClay is the GM just without the title. He's probably got to pay because that's the reason why I think he stayed. But Jerry Jones understood and he said at that time that I must change. I have to change and I will change. And it seems like a lot of people have kind of changed. We'll see if it translates to winning, but Zeke Elliott, he doesn't seem to be the party boy anymore. He seems like the guy who's like, I got to get this shit together. I hope that that's the case. But for Jerry Jones to not nickel and dime, and you know, after all these years of Dak Prescott, just to get that deal done. And for the Cowboys organization, I believe that the defense and the draft was really led by Dan Quinn because you can see the change in philosophies. The Dallas Cowboys have never drafted in the last 25 years a one technique guy. They recognize that we've got to do something different on this to get a different result. The Dallas Cowboys going out and saying, you know, as much as we love the playmakers, turning down the opportunity to get somebody like a Kyle Pitts. 
And when that starts out at the top, that desire and that attitude, and it seems like it's filtered down to the coaching staff. Mike McCarthy's planning on moving his family to Dallas. I don't think Mike McCarthy's going to go ahead and say, you know, oh, well, you know, if I lose my job here in Dallas, it's okay, even though my family's moving here. He's looking at this and saying, I've got to be successful because now my family is here and depends on my job. Dan Quinn, he comes here with a whole different focus. It's a whole different feel with Dan Quinn than Mike Nolan. And I had hopes for Mike Nolan. I feel bad for Mike Nolan. But, you know, dealing with the Dallas Cowboys is not like dealing with anything or anybody else. That shit's crazy. But it seems like he is on a mission to prove Atlanta wrong for getting rid of him. And maybe it's also, too, that he doesn't really want to be a head coach. A lot of times you wish for something, and then you get it, and it's not what you thought it was going to be. And not everybody wants that pressure of being the head coach. Sometimes, like me, you like to just get down and dirty and do the actual work instead of delegating. Well, I'm happy to see Zeke Elliott working out. I hope that what we're seeing out there is a new and improved Zeke. But the biggest thing that will improve Zeke, you know what that is, right? The biggest thing that will make Zeke Elliott look back and you guys say, damn, did we say he was done? That's what Dak Prescott said. The key three people on that team is the offensive line. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. If that offensive line is healthy, there's going to be holes for Zeke. If there's holes for Zeke, there means there's going to be space outside for Tony Pollard. If there's space outside for Tony Pollard, that means there's going to be time for Dak Prescott to hit C.D. Lamb, to hit Amari Cooper, to hit Michael Gallup. And that old offense will be wide the F open. So, yeah, it's good to see that Zeke is putting all effort into being ready for training camp, which we're less than a month away. Whew. All right, y'all. It's almost time for me to take another one of the silly pills. And yes, my hair's jacked up because I've been laying on the sofa. But counting my blessings, at least I had a leg that they can try and fix. I'm very, very blessed. Hope all of you have a great day. And I got nothing else to do. Might as well do YouTube videos. I'll see you guys later.